you look at that? That looks amazing. I know what that building is, and that's where I'm going. Woohoo! Lucky morning. Okay, so I think I go down this direction. Some music. But yeah, down this direction. It's a pretty interesting little thing. Maybe come back to that later. Unusual. This is a nice little surprise this morning. I came to renew my passport and the office that I had to come to is close by one of my most favorite buildings in uh, Beijing, which is uh, Soho. It's called the Galaxy Soho. And it was designed and built by Saha Hadid, which is a famous architect. She's now no longer alive, but she left a real legacy because I think her buildings are fantastic. Another great thing is she actually designed the Transport Museum in my hometown in Glasgow. So this is a real honour this morning to have a, a fly look at the Galaxy Soho. It is a little bit of a grey day. This is the first time I've actually been here um, inside because I had passed it a few times. I went to the other one which is in Beijing and I'll show you, I'll show you some photographs of that right now. Yeah. Um, or um, and that time when I went to that Soho, which was designed by Hadid, the sky was beautiful and blue. Today the sky is a little bit grey, it's quite cold. Beijing is beginning to get cold, but I think you'll also agree that this building or this set of buildings is just really futuristic and pretty cool. I am wearing the mask um, because there's a small outbreak in Beijing. So some of the protocols have kicked back in again, as they do in Beijing, because we are sensible. We look after our people. Anyway, I'm going to share some photographs with you of this surrounding area. Hope you like it. Wow, just look at this. This is uh, certainly curvy. Saha Hadid is definitely the queen of the curve because there's a lot of curves on display here in this building complex. Outstanding. That's a cool wee dude there with his skateboard. But check out the building behind him. I think that's cooler. That looks amazing. And again, we have the fountain. I do like a water fountain, but it always makes me want to go to the toilet. I think it's an age thing. <laughs> I love this style of architecture, as you can see. What's not to like? about designing for the future. Anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, join me by subscribing to my channel. Tune in the next time I'll show you more of Beijing. Thank you very much. You see it? You try to avoid me on the camera there. Some beautiful people, very, very kind and I'm always making sure that you're okay. Um, I got lost when I arrived here a little bit and everyone was helping me. So as always, to get to Beijing, enjoy the company and the hos hospitality of amazing people and enjoy this. Look up, this is just outstanding.
and here we have another one of these robot cleaners which I find really quite interesting who says that your job is safe look at this fella here AI artificial intelligence washing machine scrubbing the floor every job is under scrutiny now this is the future I actually came too early and the, the plaza is not open so I'm going to have to come back one day but it's well worth the trip I think you will agree so look at this this is just people being people families, friends, neighbours, kids this is just normal life in Beijing so the so the area, the Soho is essentially lots of small boutique stores some restaurants, some larger stores there's always a Starbucks and a few other stores so it's, it's actually quite a cool, as always, Soho which is um, full community living apartments, places, offices, restaurants and also small stores so that's Soho living Soho living Zaha Hadid style which is very futuristic and you ask me pretty cool that's me finished my flying visit to this amazing building which was designed by Zaha Hadid um, I think you should take five minutes to appreciate the talent of, of the architecture um, and obviously the talent of the architect um, amazing amazing futuristic building very unusual to see it in the middle of Beijing but then maybe not because there's a lot going on in Beijing so if you ask me come to China see what the real China is actually like and if you want to see more follow my channel Kurt, using that button somewhere below and in the meantime peace out